What's good, y'all? It's your girl Imani P from the DMV. You already know what I'm at. You know what I'm Um, Actually, it's Imani P, a.k.a. Pusha P, a.k.a. Money P, a.k.a. I'm out here doing my damn thing. And hey, welcome to my channel, Imani Versus, where I talk about music, culture, and more. So if you just see my intro, my friend, I'm going to link his stuff in the description below. Made me an intro out of the kindness of his heart. Go ahead and check out his page. He has a SoundCloud. Um, he goes by Spin Hefe. He makes different mixes and playlists for you to play when you're out with your girlies. So I'll link all that stuff in the description below. Today we're gonna be talking about the baby. The baby, the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby, because he's just been making headlines for his shenanigans. And also I just been kind of fed up with him musically in general. So let's just get started. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and video. Make sure you check out my playlist on Spotify, which I Imani Verses, and check out my music blog, which is coolinthegame.blog. All the links are in the description below for your easy alley, for your convenience, because I understand. I'm an understanding woman, okay? Mm-hmm, yes, ma'am. All right, so if you don't know the baby, um, I feel like you should, but you know, if you don't know, um, he's an American rapper from Charlotte, North Carolina. He rose to stardom in 2019 due to his many mixtapes. So he has like a whole bunch. Let me just name a few out for y'all. Um, he has nonfiction, God's work, baby talk, billion dollar baby, back on my baby Jesus mess. So those were all the mixtapes that he has had. And then he has one album called Kirk. I did a review on that. If you want to check it out, I'll link it in the description below. Fun fact, <laughs> um, the baby actually went by the name Baby Jesus. So he changed it so he doesn't have like so much uh, like backlash from calling himself Baby Jesus. That's why a lot of his like, if you hear his ad libs in the song, he keeps saying Baby Jesus. That's because he actually went by that name. I'm happy he changed it and I'm happy there's people around him that cared about the fact that he's gonna have fans and they're gonna make a lot of money and we wouldn't have like another mulatto situation because she's gonna get dragged for the rest of her career because she was being so stubborn and I blame her black ass daddy. All right, so personally I found the baby back in 2019. So there was like Megan Thee Stallion and then there was the baby and they were both kind of like rising to the top together as like kind of like the top girl, the top boy at the moment. Um, the reason I listened to the baby was because everybody on Twitter, all the people that was following kept saying how good he was, how good looking he is. They like his voice. He's a good rapper. So I gave him a chance and I listened to his mixtape Baby on Baby, which had the song Suge on it, which was nominated for a Grammy. It didn't win. Um, I'm glad it didn't. Oh yeah, it was 21 Savage J. Cole. That song won and I'm happy it did because that song was way better than Suge. Anyway, I thought he was pretty good. I like the song Suge. I still even like it to this day. Um, and I thought he had like a bright future in like the music industry. Uh, I thought that he would be like one of the new top rap boys, but instead, little baby. So it's no baby here. Tune in to the young boy took over. Um, I personally think there's no top rap boys, but you know, if you look at the general standpoint of life, NBA young boy and little baby are the top guys. So I feel like recently. Um, the baby has kind of stunted his growth through his shenanigans, like in his personal life, but just musically because he keeps doing the same stuff over and over again. And I feel like he is so focused on making money, making a bag, making a bag, and not focused on making music that will stand the test of time that is going to hurt his career even more um, along with his shenanigans. And let me just tell you what I mean by that. So what I mean is that, for example, rappers like Cardi B, um, little baby, even Megan Thee Stallion. Um, how like no matter how talented Megan Thee Stallion is, they are making music to make money. They're not making it for the love of it, which in turn their songs will not stand the test of time in another 20 or 30 years. It will definitely be an era where I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember this Megan song. Oh my gosh, she can really spit. But I wouldn't. I don't think in the music that she's making currently right now is going to stand the test of time. And that's how I feel about the baby. And it's understandable that they do that because they want, they want to make money. They have contracts to fulfill. Um, their record labels are probably in their ass cheeks. Like it's just a lot going on. So I understand, but I really wish artists went back to making music for the love of it 
and not because it's a quick bag and they can take this and become an actress and they can take this and just uh, go off and do all this stuff. I feel like Megan Thee Stallion is a different case though because Sis is actually talented. I think she just really is influenced by the record label and all the other stuff. His music nowadays is very plain. There's nothing to it. I think the only thing that gets talked about is that his production sound like Scooby Doo Chase music or like the SpongeBob like transition song. That's really about it. Like nobody's ever talking about his bars. No one's ever talking about how he's grown as an artist or nothing. And I've noticed that it went on a downhill spiral. Um, after Kirk, I want to say. After Kirk, everything just started sounding the same. He started making, like, putting out music way too recent instead of letting stuff marinate. Um, this isn't YouTube, dude. Like, if you put out a good project, let the project marinate. And it just seems like nowadays he's just chasing a check instead of chasing the fact that he wants to be talked about in 20 years for his good rapping. Instead, people are gonna just talk about the fact that he is gonna be making all this money for his illegitimate children, like he has with Danny Lay and Mimi and that other woman that I don't know her name. Yellow bonus, but he won't. Hey! But just know that I am greatly like not into any of his shenanigans. It's so crazy, bro. Like how far from grace he fell, like socially, like on his social medias as well as his music. Everything was just at the top. And after he got that Grammy nomination and dropped Kirk, it just went like, I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. So I only have two suggestions for the baby. And the first one would be trying to stay away from those different type of, different type of productions he's doing. So the Scooby-Doo Chase music, yes, it's different. Yes, I'm all down for artists trying different like sounds, but obviously it's not working for you if nobody's purchasing it and nobody's listening to it and everyone's just clowning you for it. So I would think maybe try to do a different sound or go back to his regular sound and work on his bars and um, his metaphors, etc. My second suggestion is to just take a break. Like, has the baby taken a break since he's got out? Like, I understand that in the digital age, you want to be relevant. You want to be everybody's face. You feel like people are going to forget you. Nobody's going to forget you, the baby, because you're always in the headlines with shenanigans. If you would just stop making some music and then come back and make some genuine songs and make a genuine album that people will actually enjoy and talk about years from now, I think people will try to forget your shenanigans. Uh, most of the women will not, but I know most of the men will because they like to do that with every artist, like Chris Brown. Anyway, that's it for my video. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share this video. Um, and you let me know how you feel about the baby in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? What suggestions would you give the baby? All right, I'll see y'all real soon because I am that girl. Peace out, A-Town.